Let's cover the updates and improvement to Blemish Blaster 2 with freehand and satellite trail removal. Welcome to SETI Astro. This script is still under script SETI Astro Blemish Blaster. I had a number of requests to do uh, freehand blemish areas as well as satellite trail removal. Another nice feature is the zoom is much more stable. It currently zooms in and out of the upper left corner. I would like to have it zoom in and out of wherever the mouse is, but at least it's stable now and doesn't jump all over the place when you're zooming in and out, along with zoom in and out buttons, which makes using it on a laptop a lot easier if you don't have a scroll wheel for a mouse. You can draw a circle as before, just shift, click, and drag to draw your circle and click execute to remove it there. There's the undo button to bring it back in case you want to, you know, change the, the feathering or, or whatever there. And now we also have the freehand shape where you can go ahead and click that to find your, your area now. And, uh, you know, you could separately adjust the feathering on this one to remove uh, freehand shapes. Again, undo works just fine. The other new feature is control click and drag to define a line, which will be used for satellite trail removal. So you can go ahead and draw a line on your satellite trail. There's options down here for the trail width. You can go ahead and click execute and it removes the line. If you didn't like how it was removed, you could always undo that and you know adjust adjust the trail width a little. All right, that looks pretty good. Again, it, it follows a very similar routine that the circle and freehand does. It, it samples points above and below the line and then replaces the line with those uh, the median of those sample points to help it blend into the background better. There is also an experimental feature. If you alt click on the line, it's going to attempt to find the satellite trail for you and draw the line in. This is just in the experimental phase. You can play around with it. I'm not guaranteeing it's going to be a, a perfect match to your line right now. Always trying to improve the, the algorithm though for it. But you can go ahead and again just, just execute and it's going to go ahead and remove the satellite trail for you. And you can see our satellite trail coming in there and it's just gone. Another improvement is when using auto STF. Before when using it, it used an unlinked stretch and there was some color shift after the blemish removal process. Now it utilizes a linked stretch to preserve your color balance such that when you go ahead and apply it back to the main image, it's going to preserve your, your color balance and push it back into the linear state. You may notice a small pedestal shift, but that's just due to the statistics changing slightly between the before and after of the blemish. But this is this is a linear image here, and if we run auto STF on it, you could see that I, I just erased the star here. And there's no 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 real shift in the color balance or the the pedestal really just remove the blemish for us and it's still in the linear state another item that was fixed was when running auto STF before when you'd remove a blemish and execute it and then click the undo it would revert it back to the linear state now it maintains showing the stretched image so you won't have to be rerunning auto STF anymore as always I'm continuously trying to improve the algorithms so expect the automated satellite trail finder to happen much better in future versions if you'd like to become a channel member we'd greatly welcome you I'm one member away from reaching 50 which would be an amazing milestone and then you could help beta test uh, these scripts as I'm developing them and getting the, the first sneak peek at everything up and coming. Please comment, like, and subscribe.